There's like life before being a parent and then there's life being a parent and uh, it completely changes. Uh, opens up your awareness and expands your experience so much because you get to see the world again for the first time through the eyes of your child. And you, you just learn so much about yourself and uh, things you could be doing to better yourself because you know you have someone watching. We met in Canada, which is amazing. Uh, and, you know, we, we just met and we're kind of just, you know, feeling each other out as like, maybe this person will be a cool friend. And as love does, it kind of just like smacked us out of nowhere. We didn't even realize what was going on. I mean, I didn't realize what was going on. And I was kind of scared of it. I was like, what is this? Like, I don't, what's happening? Why do I feel this way? Why do I want to be next to this person? And it just happened and grabbed us and then I, you know, I just knew that this person was important and that this, it seemed like the person that I had been waiting to come into my life had finally come into my life. And I, you know, finally was at this sort of uh, interesting crossroads. You know, I was, uh, I'm working on dream and passion projects with my music and I'm, I'm just writing and writing and writing. And then finally this person who I seemingly was writing about, <laughs> Uh, is it, it pops up in my life, so it was strange. It was uh, profound. Our first conversation, I was like, why am I so comfortable around this person? Like, I know them. And we were just comfortable, and we are talking about things, and I'm like, well, what do you think about this? What about this team? What about this team? And, and sometimes he's like, mm, I don't really like them. And I'm like, well, I love them. And we just felt so comfortable being ourselves. Um, and like he said, it was just, it was something that we worked at and we worked into, but, um, it just was so natural and we had so much fun together and we were laughing all the time and you know we were just like this cards. like immediately playing a lot of cards we played a lot of like card games like relationship games you be you'd be surprised how and and we kind of had made a tacit agreement to just be completely honest with every card that we pulled we're going to be honest and so we were able to learn a lot about each other very quickly we cried like real tears in these games, oftentimes just me and her, just like playing these games and like learned a lot. We had to open up ourselves to this person who seemed like they were a stranger, but one that you could rely on for some reason in the beginning. And it really accelerated our relationship dynamic because we didn't have to ask certain questions. We knew because we had already discussed and talked about those things. And when we observed each other, we we're both very observant. We saw that it correlated with the things that we talked about. So it was just, uh, it was really special. And early on, we aligned a lot on, on uh, what we would be as parents and what parenthood meant to us and how we related to our own parents and how some things they did that we appreciated, we carried on, and some things that they didn't do or did do that we didn't appreciate, we left behind. So the proposal was awesome. Um, I guess I'll keep a few things, you know, but um, he had planned it for a while. And so some folks in his circle knew about it. Um, I didn't know about it. And I'm just like, how did I not know about it? I'm a Capricorn. I feel everything. I suss out everything. I don't know how I didn't find, come across a, a box. But um, he did ask me very early on my ring size. And so I knew like when it happened, he would have the ring size, it fit. I'm like, okay. Um, and basically he, he did a bunch, but one of the things he did that I thought was so sweet is he completely isolated us. He brought us into our own world. Um, he brought us into a country that I had never been in, in a city that he had never been in. Uh, he got someone that, so my favorite singer besides Beyonce is Mariah Carey, and he was able to find someone that could sing All I Want For Christmas Is You. And um, I was looking completely crazy because I wasn't prepared. You know, a lot of people, they're like, looking like this the proposal day. I was not. I was looking just a little bit different than this. Beautiful. And <laughs> And he, he, you know, he came in and I'm just thinking, okay, we're chilling, we're gonna eat. And then all of a sudden there's all this fanfare and roses and this woman singing. And I'm like, what is happening? And then he looks at me and he, you know, talks to me for a while. Um, see, he's bashful now, he's coughing. But um, he talks to me for a while and, um, and he, you know, he asked me to marry him. We just decided really early on, you know, we want to protect 
our baby, you know, as much as we can for as long as possible. And when it's time for us to announce our child, our family, we do it our way. We don't do it on anyone else's terms. We do it within the way that feels the best for us. And that feels like we've had this opportunity to, um, to grow life together. As more and more people are beginning to find out, being in the public eye can be something that is amazing because you have the reach and the ability to talk to so many people in so many different ways. It can also be something that can be very hard on you. Um, sometimes it's difficult to uh, be the one that is speaking truth into your narrative as the way that it truly is. And so what we've been wanting to do and what we've been planning to do the entire time is take control of our narrative and take control of our own identity and be the ones to be able to tell our story. And that means sometimes that you have to protect yourself. That means you have to protect your family. That means you have to protect your children. And we don't want to be fearful and hide away from the world, but we want to handle everything with care and with respect. So that way, you know, uh, you know our children have long, lives to live and we want to make sure that they can live those lives and look back and see things reflected in, in their life that make them feel good. So we want to take care to, to be careful about that, you know. Every day something new and I'm discovering that um, you just have to bring your A-game, like Lakeith said, and you have to be the best version of yourself for your little baby. And so some days I'm like, okay, we're doing this. Great, let's go. And some days I'm like, oh, we're doing this again. And it's just always something new and um, you're always on alert. I'm like, oh wait, it's, it's warm in here. Oh wait, it's, it's cold in here. And everyone's like, it's fine. And I'm like, it's not fine for baby. And where are the socks and where are the mittens? And um, it's just so much fun. And I'm just like, everything's happening so fast and, and this is happening and this is happening and it's just beautiful. And I think one of the best parts of it is having a partner who is so intentional with you. I mean, even pre-baby, it was intentional, intentional, intentional. Yeah, it helps to, to build on a foundation that's strength, that's strong. That is a, you, it, it's a really beautiful, unique thing to have someone that you can live life with, enjoy life with, and create a family with who you trust. It's not something that you find everywhere and anywhere, and so when you, when you have it in front of you, it's something to cherish, for sure. And there's a sense of, uh, people would call it worry uh, as it applies to your children, but I would say it's a sense of, um, it's a sense of concern. There's something, someone, some entity that I'm truly concerned about their well-being and that I want them to do well, to be well, to feel well in the world, and that's a unique thing. It's a, you know, I know for me, growing up, I didn't always feel like I had that. Um, you know, I didn't really have a, a figure that was a male that was in my life that, you know, I felt I could depend on and count on. So it feels really nice to be able to be given the gift to be able to be that to someone. All I ever, ever try to do is in those really crazy moments, like, you know, when she was uh, in labor, it's like try to be a support system and like figure out how many ice chips I need to give her and like what I can do to be there um, and, and be a support. And it's, uh, it's, it's a really relieving feeling to be able to, to cut that cord, which is quite thick. It's thicker than I thought. <laughs> and honestly, he is downplaying it. He was literally perfect. And I know, you know, someone might listen in and be like, was he? I mean, seriously, like every step of the way from before we were even, <laughs> you know, expecting or pregnant um, and all the conversations that led to it, the intentional conversations, and then every step of the way. Um, I'm diabetic, I'm type one diabetic, and he has an app on his phone from day one that would tell him what my sugars are. And he's like, babe, you're, you're a little low, let's get some juice. And I'm like, you're in Italy right now, what is going on? And, or in the next room, okay, I'm bringing you the juice. And, and every single step of the way, um, I had these crazy like swollen ankles um, in labor and after, and he's like massaging it and like, we might need to call the doctor. And I mean, just being such a perfect 
example of a father and a partner. Um, and I'm really honored that I got to see that, you know, got to see that father in you um, even before I was having a little baby. And so, um, thank you, baby. And it, it's, it really is something that you have to make a choice to do and be, which is to, to be a family. It's a, it's a choice that we had to make. Everything that we do is intentional. We make choices together to step in lockstep with each other. And even when we fall out of step or you know we fall out of alignment, we have already made a choice that we're gonna find our, ways, our way back to ourselves and our love. And at the center of every problem, there exists our love. We just gotta find it. Overall, we just do wanna spread a message of love and, and let people know that sometimes it's not easy, no matter what your family dynamic is. But as long as you're purposeful, as long as you're true to yourself um, and intentional with every step and putting yourself, your family, your children first, anything is possible.